there are half a million people in the UK with a facial disfigurement. The problem is that many of them find that their experience in the workplace is very disappointing. My name's Lucy Clark. I'm 21 years old and I've got Golden House syndrome. Um, 90, but I've applied for a lot more that I hadn't heard from. One in two in particular. I got down to the last two and she rang me up to say, um, we don't feel that you could handle the angry customers because of my nature and probably the way I looked. I thought that was a bit silly, really, because I handle them like every day now, over the telephone and through the door. She wasn't even prepared to give me a chance either, so they're lost, really. Quite right. The good news is that it doesn't have to be like this. There are many people with an unusual appearance who have achieved great success at work and their employers value their contributions hugely. So I knew that we had a job coming up in our reception, so I interviewed two to three people. But obviously when Lizzie came in, there was no contest really. She just had it all there, the enthusiasm. Also the skill set. But most of all, she had the, the ability, really, to, to do the job, and obviously lots of drive. I couldn't believe that she'd done 19 applications and nobody has snapped her up. So, you know, we, we feel that employers who, who have rejected or not given her a job, it's their loss and our gain, really. The campaign is called What Success Looks Like, and it's all about transforming the expectations and confidence of individuals with disfigurements and employers across the whole nation. I'd like to become a bit more senior role in here. If I was Prime Minister, I would make it easy for people like me getting to work. Please join our campaign. Whether you're an individual with a facial disfigurement or an employer, please share your story of success, of good practice, so that we can demonstrate that disfigurement need not be an issue in the workplace ever again.